This test will show the CPU overhead for NVIDIA and AMD GPU drivers. The system for this test uses a Ryzen 5 3600X CPU and the tested GPUs used are the RX480 from AMD and the RTX 3060 from NVIDIA. I know you're gonna say that these GPUs have nowhere near the same performance, but this test stresses the CPU and not the GPU. Therefore, the GPU performance doesn't matter as long as the tests are CPU limited. The latest drivers were used for both GPUs and I have intentionally used CPU limited settings to guarantee that the driver overhead is the limiting factor here and that the GPUs are nowhere near 100% utilization. These results will only be noticeable in CPU limited scenarios, so most likely you won't notice this while gaming on a balanced specced PC. But as you'll see, in some games, it will affect you. Starting with the Witcher 3 next gen version on the X12, we can clearly see that Nvidia has degraded performance in comparison to AMD. The performance is consistently worse across the tests. The average FPS on Nvidia is 7% lower and the minimum FPS is 9% lower. That's actually a big difference and it's very noticeable while gaming since the area I tested this at is higher arc square in Novigrad where the FPS is always less than 60 around the 40s to be exact and that's with normal settings that people actually use. Let's move on to Hogwarts Legacy again on the X12. This time the performance on Nvidia is even worse than before. It's so bad that the AMD GPUs feel like they are in a higher performance tier. The Nvidia driver overhead is a serious problem that needs to be addressed. The 1% and 0.1% loss on Nvidia are higher than AMD, but that's not gonna help with the fact that Nvidia missed 13% average FPS and 12% minimum FPS. This is a clear win for AMD. Let's switch things up and test a couple of TX11 games, starting with GTA 5. To my, and probably your surprise, Nvidia manages to have clearly better performance in this game. Although it's not a big difference, it's worth noting. This probably has something to do with the fact that this is a DX11 game. As generally speaking, AMD GPUs perform better on DX12 and Vulkan, while Nvidia GPUs perform better on DX11. I guess this is because of how their drivers operate those APIs under the hood. Nvidia managed to have 9% more average FPS and 4% more minimum FPS. Moving on to another infamous TX11 game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This time, Nvidia did not just beat AMD, it demolished it. The performance is so much higher, it's absurd. Going from dropping below 60 FPS to constantly hovering around 80 to 90 FPS. This is definitely interesting, as both GPUs are not 100% utilized, and the CPU is being used the same amount on both tests, which suggests that this is the CPU performance being hammered here. Is Nvidia's driver overhead this good in DX11, or am I missing something? Tell me if you know why this is happening. Looking at the benchmark results, Nvidia has a whopping 41% lead in average FPS and an even bigger 58% lead in minimum FPS. That was a lot of work and I hope you found the results useful. I wish I could have tested more games but I'm only human after all and this video would have been a lot longer. So what do you think about the results? Oh and by the way, don't forget to replace the thermal paste on your GPU as I recently did it on mine and the results were incredible. Watch this quick video to see the results.